today I'm here as a mayoral candidate making a pledge to eliminate vehicle uh, mounted photo radar. Um, over the last year in particular, we've seen a significant climb in the number of tickets that have been issued. In a report produced for the police board in June of just this past year, or this year, um, it showed that in 2013, around 75,000 photo radar issued tickets were made in, in that year, compared with the prior year of 45,000. That's a significant increase, and I would argue that citizens are viewing it as a, ca as a cash grab, and it is a cash grab. So what I'm proposing is that working with the police board, with the police chief, with MPI, we come up with some better alternatives. So perhaps of the 50 mounted uh, systems that we have, whereby we have 36 cameras installed, we either rotate those a bit more, we add more cameras, we have more, more police officers available to stop people. Winnipegers might say this is a cash grab, but senior traffic officers with the Winnipeg Police say that it's not, that it's a genuine deterrent and that it frees them up to do other other kind of police work. What do you say to that? I still see police officers actually pulling people over and so I would argue that they're there anyways and they're probably doing and finding more more crimes that are being committed. Um, people driving around without proper registration, without proper licenses. So I think we're doing a more thorough job by having a police resource doing that kind of a, uh, a function. But every other city, many other cities are increasing their Actually radar. not. You know, BC has gotten rid of it completely. New York City. It's just they've asked well, for that may be, but I'm, I looked at Canadian provinces and Canadian cities, and we're seeing it go down. Where they're having more uh, police officers doing this, they're having more of the stationary uh, types of cameras. You might see them more on bridges as you're coming out from under a bridge or going on top of a bridge. So there's other ways to be doing this. People are sick and tired of being robbed in this way. When you look at the difference in the amount of tickets, that's a 66 percent increase. Yet MPI stats, and I have the report from the Just Slow Down uh, from June, it shows a decrease in the numbers of fatalities and accidents related to speed. So why are we issuing more tickets? My question. I mean, there gives the, the dash mounted system means they can go anywhere in the city, right? So right. instead of just a few intersections that require a lot more infrastructure, this allows police to target specific hotspots. I'm not suggesting that the, the units held by officers be um, done away with. I'm talking about the vans. But the they can send the contractors, the contracting firm. Mm, to I'm not sure locations. that they're doing that. I'm not getting that response as an area councillor. I'm not. I can't even have it parked properly so that I don't get the complaints about it. Where, where exactly was it? In Improperly. Uh, Nanton. You could check it out at any point, maybe from 3 till 6 o'clock. And it's parked improperly In a no-stopping zone. Can we get out of the contract with the, the private firm? Well, but when that's what I've said is that that's something we need to look at. How can we do it? When When is it up? Do you know? Uh, it was signed in 2012, so it wouldn't be till 2019. But I'm not proposing getting out of it because they still do manage the stationary, like the one the block east from, east of us. So maybe um, juggling around what we're doing within the contract. Okay. Yeah.